Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on microbial culture media and this is the part 5 of this series of videos on microbial culture media. Okay, so the first question is question number 81 that is when the microorganisms are cultivated in liquid medium, they are as usually grown in option A synchronous culture, option B batch culture, option C continuous culture, option D turbidal state culture and the right one is option B that is batch culture. So when the microorganisms are cultivated in liquid medium, they are as usually grown in batch culture. Okay. And this batch culture is a closed culture system that contains limited amount of nutrients. The phase of microbial growth in a batch culture is generally divided into four phases. The lac phase, then lock phase or exponential phase, then stationary phase and the last is dead phase. Okay. So the next question is question number 82. That is E. coli can be selectively isolated by option A using methylene blue agar, option B Maconchis agar, option C endo agar or option D all of the above. So the right answer is option D that is all of the above. So E. coli can be selectively isolated by using methylene blue, Maconchis agar and endo agar by all of this agar. Okay. So next is question number 83. So cellulose digesting bacteria which are unique and abundant in nature and in uh, herbivores in gut and intestine. So in order to isolate, tho isolate those cellulose digesting bacteria, we have to design medium consist of option A only cellulose as a carbon source, option B peptone, lactose and cellulose etc. Option C an enriched culture medium like blood agar or option D any of the above. So <clears throat> for cellulose digesting bacteria which type of media we have to use? So the right answer is option A that is only cellulose as carbon source should be present in that medium for isolating cellulose digesting bacteria okay so let's move on to question number 84 so generally the most rapid growth occurs at the colonies option a at the edge of the petriplet or option b in older cultures option c in the center of the colony option d growth is synchronous at each part of the colony so the right answer is option a that is at the edge. So generally the most rapid growth occur at the colonies at the edge. Okay. <coughs> so next one is question number 85. So the ability to grow in acidic pH is seen in option A Vibrio colony, option B Lactobacilli, option C Estrasia coli, option D Salmonella and Staphylococcus. So the right answer is option B that is lactobacilli. So the ability to grow in acidic pH is seen in lactobacilli. Okay. So next one is question number 86. So what is best method to account for cell size and cell number measurement and the options are option A counter counter, option B Petrofhauser chamber, option C hemocytometer, option B all of the above. So the right one is option a that is counter counter so what is the base method to account for the cell size and cell number measurement that is counter counter okay and the next one is question number 87 that is which of the following is or are effective and adequate for preservation and maintenance of pure culture and options are option a lyophilization option b preservation with mineral overlay technique option c periodic transfer of fresh media option d all of the above so the right answer is option d that is all of the above so which of the following is or are effective and adequate for preservation and maintenance of pure culture that is all of the above that is lyophilization preservation with mineral overlay technique and periodic transfer of fresh media. So next one is question number 88. 
so if you want to isolate and motile bacteria on semi solid agar medium then what will be the percentage of agar in your isolation media and the options are 3.3 percent option b 1.5 to 2.5 percent option c 0.5 to 0.8 percent or option d 0.1 to 0.3 percent so the right answer is option c it is 0.5 to 0.8 percent so if you want to isolate and motile bacteria on semi-solid agar medium then what will be the percentage of agar that is 0.5 to 0.8 percent okay so next is question number 89 so what kind of medium is mcconkey agar's medium so mcconkey agar medium is a option a differential media option b enriched media option c transport media or option d all of the above so the right answer is option a that is differential media and this differential media is a bacteriological growth medium that contains chemicals or ingredients that are that allow the observer to visually distinguish between the different types of microorganisms that means they differentiate the mic different types of microorganisms that's why they are called differential media the microorganisms can be distinguished by their colony shape or color so their colonies color will be color or shape will be different for different types of bacteria okay so let's move on to question number 90 that is agar is better adapted solidifying agent in routine microbiological lab because option a the melting and solidifying temperature are quite different option b not affected by bacterial growth option c doesn't impart any nutritive support to the medium or option d all of the above so the right answer is option d that is all of the above so agar is better adapted solidifying agent in routine microbiological lab because of all these qualities or characteristics okay so let's move on to question number 91 that is which is the vital example of enriched culture media for bacterial isolation purpose and the options are option a blood agar option b loffler serum option c bordet and jengu medium jengu medium or option d all of the above so the right answer is option d that is all of the above and this ramel bordet jengo med agar medium when enriched with blood it is a solid medium recommended for use in qualitative procedures for the isolation of bordetella pertussis and bordetella para pertussis okay so that is one and this all of this <coughs> agar media is vital examples of enriched culture media for bacteriological or bacterial isolation purpose okay <coughs> let's move on to question number 92 that is which technique is employed for quantitative determination of bacterial number of particular type and the options are option a strict plate method option b pore plate method option c both b and d option d that is spread plate method so the right answer is option c it is both B and D is the correct one. So by this pore plate method and spread plate method is employed for quantitative determination of bacterial number of particular type. Okay. Let's move on to question number 93. It is when intestinal and non-intestinal bacteria are isolated together then what component in medium selectively inhibit non-intestinal bacteria while support intestinal bacteria and the options are option a neutral red option b bile salt option c sugar itself option d bacterial metabolic waste products primarily and the right one is option b that is bile salt so bile salt is required to selectively <coughs> selectively grow in a medium uh, which are used for 
gram negative bacteria okay so they inhibit the growth of gram positive bacteria which are non intestinal bacteria so for isolation of non uh, so isolation of intestinal bacteria selectively we use in the medium that is known as bile salt okay so next one is 94 question number 94 so in freeze drying cells are frozen at option a minus 60 degrees celsius to minus 70 degrees celsius option b minus 90 degree to minus 120 degrees celsius option c at minus 196 degrees celsius or option d none of the above so in freeze drying cells are frozen at option a that is minus 60 degrees celsius to minus 70 degrees celsius let's move on to question number 95 uh, solidifying agent commonly used in preparation of solid media is option a silica gel option b agar option c both a and b or option d gelatin only so the right answer is option c that is both a and b that means both silica gel and agar can be used as a solidifying agent commonly for solid media okay media solid media preparation so next one is question number 96 so in order to isolate cholera bacterium the ph of the medium must be option a 8.5 option b 9.8 option c 7.1 or option d 11.2 so the right one is option a that is 8.5 so in order to isolate cholera bacterium the pH of the medium must be 8.5 so let's move on to question number 97 that is consider a medium consists of both crystal violet and sodium deoxycholate then option a former will allow gram positive to grow while latter will allow gram negative option b only gram negative intestinal bacteria will grow option c only gram positive intestinal bacteria will grow option d only aquatic bacteria will grow or either survive so the right one is option b that is only gram negative intestinal bacteria will grow so considering a medium consists of both crystal violet and sodium deoxycholate which are selectively used for growing gram negative intestinal bacteria okay so let's move on to question number 98 so which of the following pathogen requires alkaline culture situation for their isolation so for so <clears throat> which of the following pathogen requires alkaline culture situation for their isolation option a azotobacter option b shigella option c vibrio cholerae option d salmonella typhi and the right one is option c that is vibrio cholerae so for vibrio cholerae alkaline culture situation is culture or ph is required so the next question is question number 99 there is which of the following is false about colony features and the options are option a the differences in growth of bacteria in different part of colonies is due to differences in nutrient oxygen and toxic product ingredients option b at the age of colony oxygen and nutrients are abundant option c oxygen and nutrients cannot diffuse readily in the center option d none of the above so the right answer is option d that is none of the above is false about colony features so all of the statements are true about the colony features okay so let's move on to the last question of this video that is what are the different factors that influence directly the pattern of colony development and the options are option a hardness of medium option b nutrient diffusion availability and presence of liquid on the surface option c bacterial chemotaxis and coram sensing option d all of the above so the right answer is option d that is all of the above is 
the right one so what are the different factors that influence directly the pattern of colony development that is hardness of medium nutrient diffusion availability and presence of liquid on the cell surface and bacterial chemotaxis and quorum sensing are responsible for the pattern of colony development okay so these are all 20 questions of this part 5 video on microbial culture media or culture media for microorganisms okay so thank you for watching this video